there's a huge height difference, and he put the picture up anyway, and he wrote, chasing that neon rainbow, but he wrote dot, dot, dot after chasing that neon rainbow, which implies that we're supposed to finish the lyric. And that's what I did. And I simply wrote, living that leprechaun dream. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, um, these aren't my words. I'm reading other people's words. Justin Moore has turned down more ass than you could ever get. <laughs> <laughs> Justin may be on the shorter side, but when he takes the stage and sings, the man's a fucking giant. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling something. There's a new segment. That's right. I think it's time, the Ellen Jackson. I think it's time that we scour verified people on Facebook. And what are they saying? I'll tell you. What's going on. <clears throat> Don't mess with me and my troll patrol. All right, who did we troll this time? You guys know? Were you paying attention, mm -hmm. Stamos? Yep. You were distracted by something. A uh, uh, green stream. Oh, wow. He's, he's like doesn't, a cat. It doesn't take me much. He's like Sorry. a cat. Go give me, go give me a laser pointer. It's A-D-H-D-H-D-H. Uh, so what I did was, uh, you know, here's what I do. So if you're just joining the show, because we're live right now, remember that? Um, I, uh, follow, I'm a verified page on Facebook. Uh, blue check mark, and what I do is find other people who are verified, and I just follow them in the hopes that they will say something stupid or silly or inaccurate, and I just uh, I leave a comment. Uh, I guess you could call it trolling, um, and that's what we do. I'm not punching down. I'm not picking on anybody that's not verified. It's only verified people, and this time I followed a country music singer, by the name of Justin Moore, he's got 2.4 million followers. I don't have that many. Wow. So I thought I'd follow him. And uh, honestly, I, I do know him. I met him one time. He was opening for Brad Paisley at the Hollywood Bowl. And uh, just real brief, he had, a, he, he had a little swagger about him, a little mm. cockiness. Mm. Uh, you know, we didn't have an in-depth conversation. But anyway, I followed him, and he left a comment. He actually left a picture and a comment. <laughs> this is a picture of Justin Moore and Alan Jackson, the country singer, not the podcast producer. So a lot of you, uh, you know, uh, you know that uh, my producer of this uh, show and podcast, it's both, is by a guy by the name of The Alan Jackson, Right. Correct. And this guy is another Alan Jackson. That's what we'll call the original, <laughs> another. another Alan Jackson. And uh, so anyway, Justin Moore took a picture with uh, Alan Jackson, and he wrote... Now, uh, the first thing you notice right away, who wants to chime in here? Mm. What's the first thing you notice when you see this picture? Hot disparity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely a big height difference there. Yeah, I mean, how, bigger, way bigger you, than the other one. One thing is bigger than the other. Yeah. Uh, by how? Uh, by what? You think a foot? Would you say about eight well, inches? I think Alan's bending down. Were well, you counting the cowboy hats or the like? Well, let's do the whole thing. Yeah, uh, that's a good. Foot. That's a foot and a half. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a foot and a half easily. Yeah. And so you know. I think That's pretty brave of Justin Moore to even put this right. photo up there. Because you know he's probably got a thing about sh being short. The, it's called a Napoleon complex. Yeah. You know why they call it that? Napoleon was short. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Marcus. Whoever yeah. nailed it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, who is Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite? I didn't think he was that short. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually a tall guy. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, all right. Do you know though? It's fun to fun to quiz you. Napoleon, uh, no, nah, it's a part of history of some sort. It is a, it is definitely a part of history. Yes, Bono. What, he a Bonaparte. Bono. Uh, was he a soldier? Yeah. He was the uh, I believe Red he was the leader something. of the French <laughs> army. Red coat. Red coat. Could have been a red coat. <laughs> Anyway, he's a little boy. dude. He's a little dude, and didn't like to be picked on by his size, and they called it the uh, Napoleon Complex after him. Uh, the Alan Jackson, how close was any of us to this accuracy of Napoleon Bonaparte, I think, who was the – he wasn't the president. He was like the military leader, right? 
Do we know? Um, he was the leader I, of the French I don't Republic. know. Oh, the, oh sorry. Place, I, 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 I West, enlighten us. Yeah, your interns may know more than me. That I wasn't me. Oh, who's oh, I'm sorry. Mark Havaball, enlighten us. He's the leader of the French Republic. The leader of the French Republic. Anyway, he's a little dude. Uh, can you Google how tall Napoleon Bonaparte was, one of you? Five foot six. He's five foot six. Oh, that's Tom Cruise. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah, I bet you Justin Moore is about five six. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. five five. With yeah. Cowboy boots on. Maybe. Yeah. So anyway, there's a huge height difference, and he put the picture up anyway, and he wrote, "Chasing that neon rainbow," dot dot dot, which is an Alan Jackson song, right? Do you know how the song goes? Mm-hmm. Who wants to sing the rest of the song? Living a honky tonk dream. Right. But you didn't really sing it, though. You just said it. Well, <laughs> Chasing that neon <laughs> rainbow. Living, Living that, that honky tonk dream. dream. All right. So you guys know how it goes. So, but he wrote dot, dot, dot after Chasing that neon rainbow, which implies that we're supposed to finish the lyric. And that's what I did. And I simply wrote... Living that leprechaun dream. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Uh. And uh, it's gotten, let's see here, 2.4 thousand uh, reactions and 149 <laughs> replies. <laughs> I My goal is to try and get the original, uh, whoever it is that's verified that I'm trolling, I want them to say something. Yeah, yeah. He's remained quiet. I will give him credit that he didn't delete this. He could have deleted it. Yeah. Well, it also goes to show you that these people aren't running their own page. You know, it's a social media company. They just put it up there and leave it. But, you know, since I'm verified, my comment stays at the top. And <laughs> since my comment is also got the most reaction, it stays. Pre- so when you look at this, I'm the first thing you see living that <laughs> leprechaun dream. <laughs> if it were me, I may have deleted it. If I were yeah, just yeah. more, I may have just said, just go and delete that. Screw that guy. What's he trying to do? I know he's trolling me. Just delete the thing. But he left it up there. And part of the troll patrol, what I love doing is uh, when uh, our guys, our bumpkins, weigh in. And they had some good reactions to it. Um, Kelly Brabble Armstrong. (laughs) And a lot of people left this comment. She said, it's all right to be a little bitty. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's that's good. good that know. is just as good, if not better, yeah. than mine. <laughs> it's all right to be a little bitty. It is. What's the, how's the rest of that song go? That's an Alan Jackson song, isn't it? <laughs> it's all right to be a little bitty. Seven <laughs> little, 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 little hometown or a big old city. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Picking up a little stray kitty. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, that's way good. You can get um, the same effect, too, if Sebastian stands beside your brother. That's true. If my brother <laughs> stood next to Sebastian here, that would be the same thing. We're just going to get cowboy hat. You guys need to reenact a photo. <laughs> we can go, go get you a Western shirt like that and I'll rip some hole in your jeans. And then I'll get Jason. We'll get matching cowboy hats, and y'all stand next to each other. They we'll can be able to a pair photo. of jeans. That's, a real, that's, that's not bald. Ripped jeans, either. Do you know Alan Jack? That is not bought ripped jeans. To me, it looks like I bet you it they're is. wore out. He bought those at Buckle, man. Yeah, yeah, he bought right. those. Well, I, if, we, if, if it's the same jeans that he wore in the video about the Chattahoochee where he was water skiing in his jeans, yeah, then I'd believe it because them jeans have been worn a long time. That's the <laughs> 80s. So that could be an original hole from that. But I didn't realize he had such skinny legs. Yeah, he does have some skinny legs. But also, Will Stanley wrote, because all he ever wanted was to lick Alan's guitar string. Now, was that a lyric from the song? Because he's writing out the ever with a bunch of E's in it. I don't know that one. Um, That one got a lot of likes. So what happens is I'll leave a comment. They'll leave a comment. People start liking other people's comment, and it just builds, right? Um, Brian Mahan Mahan said, John Reap, it's cool that Alan takes his son on tour. (laughs) (laughs) Now, look, I'm sure Justin Moore's a great guy. I just finished the song. I just see what I see, and I leave a comment. Uh, Logan Wright said, John Reap, picture is titled, When Daddy Let Me Drive. (laughs) When Daddy Let Me Drive. (laughs) Alan Albert, now the Alan Jackson, I don't know if you can find this one. There was a guy by the name of Alan Albert who also posted a picture and left a comment. So look for that one while I read these other ones. Um, Tom, Tim Toms said, John Reap, milk may have shot out of my nose at this comment. Very good. That's what I want. Michael McCollin 
or McAuliffe said, John Reap, oh, this one's great. So obviously at some point one of his fans is going to come at me. Yeah. Because I left this that. on his page. <laughs> so far it's everyone laughing at it. Oh, here we go, the Alan Jackson. So this guy, <laughs> <laughs> this guy, <laughs> Alan Albert, right. he goes, what's the old saying about uh, living in glass houses? <laughs> <laughs> so I know this photo. I know exactly what was going on here. And I do this uh, after my shows when people want to take pictures. If there's a tall dude who walks up to me, <laughs> I will bend down even more so it makes him look even taller. <laughs> so, yes, I'm shorter than this guy in real life. I'm 5'9", maybe 5'10 on a good day. Uh, but this dude's probably 6'4", and I just bent down a little bit to make him look like a giant because I think it's funny. So that's what he did. He was playing along. He re- he posted that picture. So that was funny. Thank you, Alan Albert. Now this dude, this next guy, Michael McAuliffe, was taken up for Justin Moore, and that event, and, and of course that's going to happen. I kind of want it to happen. It's the idea of the troll. He goes, <clears throat> Justin Moore has turned down. And it, Mom, um, these aren't my words. I'm reading other people's words, and I don't want to leave out the words that they wrote. And there's going to be some bad ones in there. Go ahead and uh, put the earmuffs on, everybody, if you don't like bad words, because I'm going to read it word for word. Justin Moore has turned on... <clears throat> take two. Justin Moore has turned down more ass than you could ever get. <laughs> 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 Justin may be on the shorter side, but when he takes the stage and sings, the man's a fucking giant. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Alan Jackson is also 6'3 without boots and a cowboy hat on. He's taller than most people. Well, you're right, Michael. Yes. <laughs> Nice. I, I don't. I, I don't doubt you one I think bit. You offended Michael, Michelle, <laughs> I know. or Michael or Michelle, whoever yeah, it was. I don't Michelle. know. Anyway, that's <laughs> fun. Who do you want me to troll? <laughs> hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then, if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe. You might as well hit the notification bell, all right? And uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>